Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, praise be to the Lord and Jesus Christ. Uh, today we celebrate uh, the second Sunday in ordinary uh, time. At the earth shall bow down before you, O God, and shall sing to you, shall uh, sing uh, to your name, O Most High. Almighty the ever-loving God, who governs all things, both in heaven and on earth, and mercifully uh, hear uh, the pleadings of your people, and bestow your peace on our times through our Lord uh, Jesus uh, Christ, uh, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Uh, first reading. Samuel was lying down in the temple of the Lord where the ark of God was. Then the Lord called Samuel, uh, Samuel. And he said, Here I am. Samuel ran to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. But Eli said, I did not call you. Lie down again. So he went and lay down. The Lord called again, Samuel, Samuel, got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you call me. But he said, I did not call my son, lie down again. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord, and the word of the Lord had never yet been revealed to him. Now the Lord called Samuel again a third time, and he got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am. For you called me. Then Eli perceived that the Lord was calling the boy. Therefore Eli said to Samuel, Go lie down, and if he calls you, you shall say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. Now the Lord came and stood there calling as before Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, Speak. For your servant is listening, and Samuel grew up, and the Lord was with him, and let none of his words fall to the ground. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard me cry. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Sacrifice an offering you do not desire, but you have given me an open ear. Burnt offering and sin offering. You have not required. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. And I said, Here I am in the scroll of the book. It is written of me. I delight to do your will, O oh my God. Your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I have told the glad news of deliverance in the great congregation. See, I have not restrained my lips as you No, O Lord. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. A second reading, a Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the body is meant not for indication, but for the Lord and the Lord for the body, and God raised the Lord and will also raise up by his power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? But anyone united to the Lord becomes one spirit with him. Shun fornication. Every sin that a person commits is outside the body, but the fornicator sins against the body himself. 
Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit within you, which you have from God, and that you are not your own? For you were uh, bought with a price, and therefore glorify God in your body. In the word of the Lord, uh, thanks be to God. Alleluia. 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 In the Gospel from John, and the Lord be with you and uh, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. A glory to you, O Lord. John was standing with two of disciples, and as he watched Jesus walk by, he exclaimed, Look, here is the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him say this, and they followed uh, Jesus. When Jesus turned and saw them following, he said to them, What are you looking for? And they said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher, where are you staying? And he said to them, Come and see. They came and saw where he was staying, and they remained with him that day. It was about four o'clock in the afternoon. One of the two who heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He found his brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated uh, the Christ. He brought Simon to Jesus, who looked at him, and said, You are Simon, son of John. You are to be called Cephas, which is translated, it means Peter. A gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.